Charter Act 1813. This act came into being to regulate the policies of British East India Company as they were becoming the most powerful traders in India. So the British Parliament enacted Charters Act 1813. For that they partially abolished the trade policies of British East India Company. Another they did a social work. One lakh rupees were invested in India for education to literate the people so that they can communicate with them. After 20 years another act was enacted Charter Act 1833. In that they completely abolished the trade of British East India Company and the Governor General of Bengal was converted into the Governor General of India. So all the powers of Bengal Governor was given to the Governor General of India. And the power of Governor General was enhanced to the Bombay and Madras. He got the additional responsibility of Bombay and Madras and all legislative reforms formed in Bengal were implemented in Bombay and Madras. These provisions was used by the framers of Indian constitution by introducing the scheme of administrative and legislative them and centralized in the manner like in uh, the civil service we in did a recruitment and a, a whole service is centralized and in the similar fashion legislative are also centralized in India so this is this is copied by the Chartered Act 1833 after 20 years another act enacted Charter Act 1853 in that Court of Directors was reduced from 24 to 18 earlier it was reduced to 24 in Regulating Act 1773 and they did the end of nominating administrators by court of directors by introducing the scheme of competitive examination like civil services keep watching don't forget to subscribe comment and like thank you